Hello, this is Forimori7. I'm going to show you how you can get rid of errors in Project Legacy. I'm going to show you each error, and then I'm going to show you uh, fixes on how to fix those errors, so that you can spend uh, more time playing and less time figuring out errors. Now, before I tell you about these solutions, I first need to give you a warning. And that is, please do not flood me with comments saying things like, Hey, I tried doing your suggestion one time and it didn't work. Well, you probably, more than likely, will be able to uh, get rid of most of these errors on the first try. But sometimes you may need to try two or three times in order to get rid of the error. Uh, again, many of these uh, fixes that I present here in the video do work on the first try, but uh, some of them you may need to try it two or three times in order to get rid of the error. The other thing you need to realize is that sometimes it's Ubisoft's fault. They may doing, be doing maintenance, or they may be having uh, some problems. So, uh, if, that's the, and, uh, if that's the case, then you probably may be uh, doing everything you can and it's still not working. So just uh, maybe take two minutes and uh, leave the game alone and then come back and try to uh, apply the fix. Now you will notice that I have buttons on the side of the screen here. You can click, you can skip ahead to any part of the video you want and um, make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Now the first error I'm going to talk to you about is what I like to call the blank screen error. I call it the blank screen error because it's just that. Uh, it's not loading, it's not doing anything, there's no black letters that are appearing, it doesn't even say open beta at the bottom. Now you will notice that I'm using the Firefox browser while I'm getting this error. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch to another browser and hope that it, the game will load better. Which brings me to my first fix. Use another browser. Sometimes all these errors can be solved by simply switching browsers. Things that Google, Chrome, Firefox, and Internet Explorer are all perfectly good browsers, but you need to find the one that's best for you, and that is not a one-size-fits-all. For example, my computer runs the game very well on Internet Explorer, but other people may need to use Chrome or Firefox in order to run the game well. So you need to experiment to find the browser that's best for you. And the game, usually when you use the best browser, the game will load for you. Now, uh, if you tried all the browsers and the game still refuses to load, uh, what I'm going to show you how to do is to reset your flash process. Now to do this, the first thing you need to do is you need to close all open browsers. Then you need to right click on an empty area of the taskbar at the bottom of your screen and click Task Manager. Then click Processes and then click a process called Flash Util and then click End Process. Now depending on the type of browser you use there may be more than one Flash Util but close all the Flash and the Utils you see. Then you're going to go to your browser, the one that works best for Project Legacy, and you're going to go to apps.facebook.com slash project legacy slash uh, make sure you type that into the URL if you go to project legacy by clicking on a link or by searching at a search box then the URL will be different and I found that other types of URLs load don't may not load the game correctly please like and subscribe if this helped you solve this particular error Now, the next error I want to talk to you about is the application has already been launched error. Now, under normal circumstances, this error only comes up if you already have Project Legacy in another browser or in another tab. So make sure you close those if this error comes up. Now, if this error keeps persisting, then what you need to do is you need to reset your flash process. To do this, you need to close all open browsers, right-click an empty area of your taskbar, and then click Task Manager. You're going to go to Processes, then you're going to scroll down until you see Flash Util. You're going to click it, and then you're going to click End Process. Now, depending on your browser, you may see more than one Flash Util here. Just cl 
in the process of all the flash utils you see. When that's done, open up the browser that you want, go to uh, Project Legacy. I like going to apps.facebook.com slash project legacy slash and the application has already been launched error will disappear again make sure you please like and subscribe <laughs> this next error that I made an attempt at solving is called the CSS loaded error I like to call it that because the game stops on the words CSS loaded and the game refuses to load any further now the thing about this video is that it was very difficult for me to make because one of the things I had to do was I had to basically force Project Legacy to have an error and then I have to film myself solving it. Uh, the problem with that is that some of these errors are difficult or impossible for me to reproduce on my own. So I haven't had very much uh, time with the CSS loaded error. Not enough time to uh, prove my some of my fixes that I've come up with. I haven't really been able to do that. So, um, but if you stick around and subscribe, if I get enough comments uh, on this, then I'll come out with another video and I'll talk about this CSS loaded thing. Here you can see I'm attempting to uh, reset my flash process to get rid of this CSS loaded error, which is what you can do as well. And maybe you'll have better luck than I did of resetting your flash process. I uh, resetted my flash process on this one and it made the CSS loaded error go away, but it caused another error because the game failed to load at all which is actually kind of going backward as you can see so but uh... just give me a little bit more time uh, i need some more time to test out some of my fixes on css loading and then i will get back to you and i will uh, give you uh... my fixes because i don't want to post it on youtube unless it's worth posting so i, I need to test out my theories first and then i'll tell them to you but uh, that's it. Um, I greatly apologize, but if you stick around and subscribe, you'll see more. <laughs> Alright, now I am going to do everyone's favorite error, and that is the connection error. Now, the connection error can occur for a variety of different reasons. Uh, for many people, the connection error occurs immediately after the game loads. Sometimes the connection error happens when you try to click on contract or training. And also, in if you go to Italian Wars Chapter 2, that entire chapter is filled with nothing but connection errors. So, connection errors can get a little annoying. I'm going to show you how you can... Uh, prevent connection errors. So basically once that pop-up comes up you're gonna press the you're going to press the refresh button at the top of your browser. Now you need to be ready because as soon as the game loads you need to be prepared to rapidly click switch between the profile, equipment, training and uh, uh, territories buttons you need to go fast, so no more than two or three clicks per button. It's not about how many times you can click the button. You need to switch. You need to sw you need to switch from one to another very quickly, and you need to do it constantly. If you let up or stop clicking, then you'll get the you will get the connection error. So it may take actually a couple of times to practice this to actually get good at rapidly clicking like this, because there actually is a certain order. It's not just helter skelter. There is a order and a method for rapidly clicking like this. But just in case you missed it earlier, I'm going to show you that again. But first, I'm going to show you another way you can 
help with the correction error, that's by increasing your storage settings. Just right click anywhere in the game, click settings, uh, click storage, and then slide the slider all the way up to the right. Uh, that will greatly help. Uh, if you haven't already done that, make sure you do that. Now, uh, when you rapidly click, you want to make sure to bounce around between those four buttons as quickly as possible, and you need to be continuously clicking. Uh, if you stop clicking, even for one second, it's not going to work. 90% uh, of this time, this method works for me. Nine times out of ten, rapidly clicking, if I do it correctly, always works. Um, I don't have any sound in this particular video, so you won't be able to hear the clicks, but just know that I'm clicking each button two or three times until uh, the window starts to appear, uh, and then I start to slow down my clicks a little bit uh, so that I can... Uh, I'm still jumping around, I'm still bouncing around between them, but they're, since they're coming up, I'm starting to uh, slow down my clicks, and now, at about at about this point, I'm able to play the game normally. It may see it may you may feel ridiculous when you're rapidly clicking around like this, but it actually does work. You're giving it so many commands all at once that it basically just doesn't give you the error anymore. Make sure to like and subscribe, and please share this video. Now I'm going to talk about the Divine Science Story Pack, even though it's not really an error. I put it in the video anyway, because as you can see, they tell us that it's coming soon, but it's not actually coming soon. But the reason why is because it's already available now. All you have to do is go to uh, abstergoindustries.com slash secure files. When you get there, you'll be taken to this boring-looking web page like this. But believe it or not, this is the Divine Science Story Pack right here. Now, you'll notice that these are .rare files. Now, if you already have a rare extraction tool, you can just download them, extract them, and use the files. And you can just skip over this little bit of video. But for those of you who don't already have one, uh, first thing you're going to do is going to save the file to your uh, computer wherever you want to save it and then you're going to know going to need to get a uh, a rare extraction tool um, I would recommend free rare frog just go to Bing and type in free rare frog and uh, the thing I like about rare frog is it works completely in the background <clears throat> so that you do not have to open the program in order to uh, use the rare files you can just double click on the file or right click and then click extract and uh, you can do it this is the free rare frog program one well, after you download it this is what it looks like but it you did you do not have to run this program in order to e extract files you can extract files uh, by double clicking or by right clicking on the file and then clicking extract. That's what I'm going to do now. Click OK. And it's done. And this is it. It's a PDF Adobe Reader document. And this is the Divine Science Story Pack. Um, it has the pictures and it has all the executable lines of text. The downside to this is that you will not be able to play this inside the Project Legacy app. So, uh, you'll only be able to read it in the form of a, of a text document, basically. But you can get all the backstory and just repeat the process of downloading and extracting for all the other files. Please like and subscribe. I, need, I still need a lot of subscribers and a lot more video views. Please subscribe and share my video on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much.